Greetings, everybody. Prime Wendigo Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Wendigos, which originally aired live on Twitch, August 10th. Let me show you the world, and let me show you the different uh, factions before we get going. So here we are. Uh, you can figure out what the rules and ideologies are with the commands posted in the title. But raiding is respected, which means that if we don't raid often, uh, we lose happiness. Autonomous weapons are prohibited. Uh, this is very much in line with the original Wendigos, more or less. I really didn't use autonomous weapons at all. And cannibalism is strong. Diversity of thought is intense bigotry. Rough living is welcome, as is temperature tolerance. We are more tolerant of rough living and uh, extreme temperatures. Makes sense, we are on ice sheet. Here are all of the other precepts. And then our buildings and relics and rolls. The rituals here, the feast, the effigy burning, and the prisoner sacrifice. Uh, some of the additional rules can be found here. So if you look, uh, Wendigos may not be a wimp or body purist. Wendigos must have a passion for combat, aka no pacifists, and also a passion Burning or regular, but a passion nonetheless. Wendigos must have our ideology, and if they meet the other requirements, they have to be converted. Only founding members may travel to the Archer Nexus, but if a founding member dies, they may designate a successor. The goal is to complete the Archer Nexus to spread our legend. So here are the factions. We have the Algonquin Wendigo. I had to mod ideology a little bit to allow an alliance between us and them because naturally being supremacist and a raider means that you will basically be hostile to everybody else. But in this case, because we do want quests and all that, uh, we have a goodwill range of zero to 100 with the Algonquin Wendigo. Both follow Wendigo plus 140. We have the Colonies, the Blackfoot, the Cheyenne, Anne's Revenge, and the crown. The world here. We live uh, right on the southern edge of the Algonquin Sheet. And then we have uh, other geographical, like the Ojibwe or Nascopee Ridge. These are all, of course, uh, Algonquin names. Nip, uh, or, or the greater Algonquin region names, like Cree and uh, Penacook. Uh, the leaders here are actual leaders of these factions. So, of course, I don't know if you know history, but George Popham was a very famous um, colonist governor. Uh, these are Blackfoot chiefs and Cheyenne chiefs. And Edward Blackbeard Teach should be familiar to many of you as well. In fact, uh, Mariana uh, Duquette was also a chief of the Algonquins. Uh, and... The crown, I didn't give them a name because I think, like, King George would just be a little bit too much on the nose. All right. Uh, we, this is a 300 by 300 map. Uh, the map generation was very custom. I used mods to do it. Um, obviously, as you can see, this is a very strange world. And the concept here is to use the Archer Nexus to travel uh, to the other continent so that we can destroy more factions. Now, the, the win condition of this series isn't to destroy all enemy factions other than the Algonquin Wendigo, uh, but we are raiders. So of course, that's something that we're gonna do naturally with uh, raider uh, memes and presets. Here we have our starting characters. We have Glitch, which should be familiar to anyone who was originally um, you know, watching the Wendigos. Uh, psychically hyper sensitive, cannibal, iron willed. Uh, the sort of theory I went behind all of the characters is that they would each have a passion in some sort of weapon, whether it be melee or shooting, uh, and they would have one burning passion of roughly 12 skill and two regular passions of nine skill, and the rest would be basically just bare minimum. Bona, thank you for the gifted subs. Guero for the bits. Cruzio for the resub. Lucid for the bits. Kellyan for the gifted subs. Oh, so on and so forth. <laughs> so many of them. I'll catch up. I promise. Uh, we have Mallet here. Mallet Mark. 
uh, Bloodlust, Cannibal Jogger, Burning Passion and Shooting, Mining Medical. We have uh, Charadar Deluxe, <laughs> Quick Sleeper, Industrious Cannibal. Now, also keep in mind that because we have the rating required, uh, because we are a raider, we do have reduced global work speed. So, Burning Passion and Crafting, Shooting, Social. Moles, who's uh, Burning Passion and Melee, Plants and Artistic, a Cannibal Brawling Jogger, and Raptor, uh, Fast Learner, Sanguine, Cannibal, Shooting, Construction, and Cooking. So obviously, Prepare Carefully was used, uh, but since that most of these characters here uh, don't have crazy high passions or skills, but just are focused in combat, it's relatively balanced. I'm not gonna say it's balanced, because that would be a lie, but it's relatively balanced. We were roughly within the point requirement. Um, each five of them have a color preference of pitch black. The original five founders are gonna be dyeing their colors pitch black, whereas all the additional Wendigo will be taking the ideology color. Uh, these are the five founders and if they die, they can designate, each one obviously belongs to a viewer, they can designate a successor to go on the Archer Nexus. It's their pick, as designated in the rules. Uh, we're starting here, and unlike the normal tribe start, I did start with uh, 300 steel and no pets. So I took out the pets, I took out the jade knife, I took out the pilla, uh, I took out the club. So it's three short bows, and two Ikla, uh, the same amount of wood, and 300 steel. Very, very basic setup. I mean, really nothing special there at all. Uh, the map has no resources. It did generate some razor wire and uh, whatever this is, ancient fences, but they can't be broken down to material like uh, most debris can. We are, however, uh, right on the intersection of roads here. So traveling around will be pretty easy. And we're on the border of, uh, well, it's calling it permafrost, but uh, yeah, we're on the border of permafrost here. And as a result, it's going to be also a little bit easier for us to gain uh, material that aren't based on ice, sea ice. But our first map tile will be sea ice. We will try to stay here. There is no requirement of not leaving. So if we have to leave, we will. Uh, but we'll try to stay. All right. Well, now that that's gone, uh, let me set up the, uh, the sort of outfits and medicines. I didn't change anything else at all. Um, so I'm going to want to set up drug policies and the rest of that. So we don't really have any drugs right now. So I'm gonna, this will be social drugs. And as we make drugs, I can uh, fill that in. All right, uh, our doctors are just Mallet. So Mallet here is going to be assigned to carry medicine, but no one else will. Uh, Mallet, of course, is uh, a cannibal brawling shooter. Raptor grabbing a bow as well. Iqla there, Iqla there, and a bow here. Going to the manual priorities, I never ever have it be automatic. I mean, that's absurd. Let's fill this in. Obviously, no one can animal handle. Um, that was never really to be done. I was never intending for anyone to do that. Um, we do have Raptor to be able to construct, so I'm going to have Raptor basically be our sole constructor at the start. And there we go. That is the setup. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is to set up basic logic. Um, the game is going to inform me that... Let me turn this down even more. The game is going to inform me that uh, it's cold and I need warmer clothes. But uh, don't forget that I have temperature tough. So I have a little bit more wiggle room than otherwise uh, tribals would have. All right. Everybody's a cannibal. It is required of our ideology. All non-cannibals are put to death. Uh, taking a look at the map here, I think probably I want to settle somewhere in between these two deep waters. 
and use these deep waters in the future and the uh, shallow water to help uh, prevent easy traversal of terrain. So let's lay out a little seven by seven because a square is the most efficient shape uh, when it comes to area to perimeter. Boom. Well, most efficient would be, I guess, a circle. We could circularize, but in terms of uh, insulation, squares are a little bit easier to insulate. Um, all right. And then we are going to want to get a research bench. Um, we have rough living precepts, so we don't really mind. Oh, one other thing that I did not cover, however, is relationships. We are all one family. Uh, in fact, I should move Raptor up. So if we take a look here, uh, Glitch and Raptor should actually be in a relationship. Uh, I guess I failed to do that. But they are mother and father of Mallet, Ch uh, Charetta, and uh, Moles. All right, we are going to allow, let's see. I'm going to put raw materials out here. And this, of course, will be preferred for raw materials that are not plant matter or wood. And then everything else in here as necessity because we don't have a lot of materials. I'm going to put this as a low priority and just take off uh, plant matter or... um take out everything but plant matter and uh, wood. So the storyteller is Randy Random, um, as always. Randy Random losing us fun. What else am I missing? If there's anything else that I'm missing here, all right, one thing I want to do is to fix that relationship. Add Glitch, uh, Spouse of Raptor. Done. All right, there we go. Yes, the music uh, mod is sort of broken, and I really had to go to a length to, to get it working. Um, I'm probably going to be reaching out to the original mod maker to offer them money to update it because it is, uh, well, it's, it's very, very broken. Um, I'm not even going to click that tab custom music cause it's going to explode with errors. Uh, <laughs> so we'll pretend like it works wonderfully, but it doesn't. If you're curious about the mod list, mods is going to tell you all of the mods I'm currently using. I have modified ideology though, interestingly enough, um, but barely, so it's not all that relevant. But the changes to ideology would be to allow me to be in a good relationship with the Algonquin Wendigo. That is the only change I made. Um, there's normally in RimWorld, when you share an ideology with someone else, you'll have a natural relation bonus of 10, and I ramped that up to 140 so that we could be allied with the Algonquin Wendigo. Otherwise, because we're both uh, supremacist raiders, we would have been like perpetually hostile, which didn't make any sense story-wise. Uh, and it also would ruin the fact that we would never be able to get quests ever, 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 ever. So. Let's turn off goodwill. We are not accepting it. All right, catching up on that uh, hype train. Uh, J1293, thanks for the resub. Kellyan for the gifted sub. Petrable for the resub. Sir Ben for resubbing as well. Unexpected Giraffe for gifting out subs twice. Quirozella for resub. Bonet for gifting out five community subs. Guero for bits. Cruzio for the resub. And Glitch at the very start for bits as well. I think I've covered it. One thing I didn't want to do is to put a roof over the research bench so that we have a little bit of uh, natural sunlight when researching because we have a pretty limited amount of wood and I'm not really sure that I want to dedicate the wood towards um, uh, dedicate the woods towards burning. I will, however, immediately uh, queue up three recurve bows because they are going to be better than the... Uh, better than the short bows that we started with. Or actually, you know what? Let me do two recurve bows. 
for now. Hey, buddy. 88 Jack, thanks for the resub as well. I'm also here with uh, Tusk, who you can see her little ears poking up. Yeah, I can fix that. Hey, Tusk. <laughs> All right. Uh, immediately, right at the start, I want to go raiding. I know what that sounds like, but trust me, it's going to be needed. So, Mallet and Moles, I think I'm going to send out. Uh, but it's uh, only after Tourette's gets a, a recurve bow made. I want to make a recurve bow. I'm actually going to change my mind and supply a campfire. Um, there we go. And this could be a gather spot. Now, we do have rough living, so I don't necessarily need a table to eat on. It's uh, not really required. Um, and let's queue up first research. I'm going to go with complex furniture. We also have EPOE installed, so here is all the EPOE bionics, um, mimicking, of course, what we had last time. And then the other faction, the other Algonquin Wendigo, are a feral clan, which again mimics the last Wendigo's series. So here is Glitch. Now with that roof unneeded, we'll fill it in. And this is the very poorest of the starts that you can have. Does anyone has frozen toes yet? No. Uh, if we take a look here, our temperature tolerance is not exactly true um, because of the rough living. I actually am not really sure how rough living even determines temperature tolerances exactly. Because um, the temperature comfortable, the comfortable temperature range doesn't really seem to reflect whether you have uh, the uh, tough temperature or not. How would raiding uh, work here? Well, people will raid us or we will raid people. We're not that isolated. I mean, just up the road, we got, um, we got a lot of potential raid targets around us. All right, there is a good bill, bow and uh, mallet. And moles are gonna go next door. So I'm gonna send them two tiles up. We're gonna give them uh, very little pemmican actually. Maybe just 50 and three, uh, three additional herbal meds and send them out. I'll put down a caravan pack spot. And have them head out. Oh, you know what? There's actually one other mod I want to add. Uh, let me do that on the fly. I totally forgot to add my own mod that I made. And that's going to be annoying not to have. So this will take just a second. Because I don't really have a large mod list here. Uh, the no time change sounds. Uh, that is going to bother me. Ooh, and I need a pet tusk who isn't here. Yes, so the no time change sounds just makes it so that uh, when I change the time from one, two, or three, or pause, it doesn't make noises. And I'll have to add that to the Wendigo mods, but it's not really a mod that anyone can use because I haven't published it, so that's kind of moot. Come here, girl. Or not, you know, whatever. All right, there you go. So they're off. They're exiting northwest to go northwest. That makes sense. Uh, then the other thing is I'm going to start hunting uh, whoever's left with a raptor. Yep. So raptor is going to go uh, start to hunt because just because um, we want to eat meat. And of course, this pemmican. Interesting. It doesn't actually say it has meat in it. Huh, it's supposed to be meat. Oh, you know, I bet that's, um, I bet that is a result of, uh, prepare carefully. Why not publish it? Oh, I could. Maybe I will. I, I will. 
just doesn't do very much. It would take anyone like 10 seconds to recreate it because it's so very simple. Nicholson, thank you for the, for the sub. All right, so here's the other recurve bow I wanted. Uh, we will give that to Toretter. And I'm gonna wait to make any more. Something tells me I, I might not need him soon. All right, so Raptor's trying to go for an Arctic Fox. Of course, an Arctic Fox does move the same speed we do. So this is, uh, you know, we gotta be ca cautious, I, I suppose. I'm gonna have Toretter uh, back Raptor up. Two shooters are always better than one. And this is going to be our food source and leather source for now until we, well, we get murdering, I suppose. There we go, first hit. Oh, to the neck. That is a fatal bleed right there. Don't underestimate my skills. Not just anyone could create that mod. The mod was really just like, all it does is set volume to 100 down to 10. Yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> that is all it does. So it's knowing where to set the file, I suppose. And that is, that is the extent of the mod. It's uh, like I said, it is pretty simple. Come on, little fox. It's gonna be weird when we start hunting Arctic wolves. I'm used to them being venerated, right? All right, uh, another thing we're gonna need is a butcher and a butchery spot. So this will be the butchery spot. Uh, don't allow rotten and no chunks and no humanoid corpses. Well, leaving that is fine. But no insect corpses. I don't really care about insects. Ain't nobody wants to eat that. All right, then the remaining animals, the snow hares here, will be on the menu as well. So I'm going to have Toretter uh, start to get those. This caravan should be arriving any second now. And uh, I got a hydrate to do, don't I? Come on. All right, so it's 6 p.m. And I think you all know why we're here. We're here to feed ourselves. So let me go ahead and set up a new caravan. And I'm gonna have them split the food. There's not a whole lot of it. But on this new tile, the permafrost tiles, uh, we are going to be able to find Ancient dangers. Uh, so what is our exit point? And of course, uh, there's caribou and other animals as well. So exit point is southeast. And now we're really here for the human flesh and not much else. So let's get to it. Taking a look at these guys. Mallet here. Uh, you are going to poke into this ancient danger and hope that they are not immediately hostile. If they are, I can always leave. Little anima tree there. All right. Now, which one of you moles you'll deconstruct? All right, we have got bugs, an animal pulser, a hermetic crate, and neural computation. Uh, Not much of an issue there. This is an easier one. I'm going to go out as far away as I can and shoot the caskets. Uh, hopefully triggering humans that will fight the bugs. And then we will butcher the human humans for uh, meat. We'll be well fed if this goes well.
Okay. There we go. So we've got six of them. One is about to go juice. The rest are trying to leave. And this guy has a biocoded weapon, unfortunately. And this one has a feral flamethrower, which we'll be able to grab if we down him. Checking in on the home team, they're still hunting snow hare. They do have one arctic fox dead. And uh, soon I'm going to be queuing up a butcher table for us to use. All right, all of my shots are bang basically bouncing off of uh, Maker there. Uh, the other thing that moles could do is to go in from a different point. To perhaps strip these guys of their stuff before they die. Uh, because only... Only Mallet cares about, or doesn't care about uh, Tainted Apparel. The rest of us do. Ideally, we would have uh, the ability to wear clothing uh, made from human leather. That would keep us the happiest. All right, there goes Maker. So his gear could go to Mallet because, you know, Mallet is bloodlust. And now McBride is next. I want this uh, Scarab here to focus on McBride and not... Man, I'm constantly having to adjust that. Um, and not me, so I'm going to back away. And hopefully get the Mega Spider killed. Yeah, it looks like that's going to happen. Alright, home team. Still hunting. Shooting uh, snow hair is pretty good for uh, training because it's they're hard to hit. Ooh, McBride is successful. Let's duck for cover. He's not going to be too hard to kill. In fact, all we really need to do is to wait him out and he'll die on his own. I was sort of hoping that the uh, Scarab would turn around. Oh, there, there it goes. All right. Raptor's asleep, Lich is asleep. Uh, they are going to want uh, double bed though, aren't they? Nope, let's try that again. All right, here comes McBride. Smart play would be to evade him and uh, get better weapons as a result. So I'm gonna do just that. I absolutely hate LMGs with a burning passion, so I'm gonna ignore them. Unfortunately, there's really not a weapon. Oh, this is not biocoded anymore. All right. We are going to use that. And to material rifle mine. All right, you want to come for me? Come. Risky endeavor because these anti material rifles do have bayonets. And it, this is, of course, possible. Nope. It ended well. Good. All right. Let's entitle ourselves to uh, better meds. I'm going to have Mallet tend to himself first and then to moles. We do have to keep an eye on this Mega Spider just got back up. And let's clear that out. Now, the Mega Spider doesn't have a hive anymore, so it's not necessarily going to be um, hunting us. All right, Mallet, tend. 
yourself. Moles, you are going to start stripping people. So moles, you, um, you're going to want something warmer. So I'm going to give you this flak jacket. Flak pants, flak jacket, synthread uh, shirt, and flak armor. All right, mallet, let's allow you to self-tend. Get that going. Now, mallet is bloodlust, so he can wear the dead people stuff with, uh, with no issues there. Moles now has a comfortable temperature range uh, that is going to allow her to be fine in this climate. And you are brick risking, so let's go ahead and strip Lumpy. And take the wake up. Alright, with that wake up, I am going to set up uh, spots for you to sleep. And then also, you are going to be allowed to do some basic uh, deconstructing and cancel the caravan forming. We're not going to leave just yet. We have things to do. Let's also open up the Hermetic Crate as well. Artificial metabolism. Looking good. All right, so before these guys bleed out on their own, let me go finish them off because my bloodlust would very much like to do that. Between, what, 68% and 62%. So uh, Maker's Armor is going to be used. And let me also reduce the bed rest. Uh, let's see, to four. Really, you're still gonna rest? There's nothing better for you to do? All right. What if I force you? I know. Evil, right? Red Dragon, thanks for the bits. They removed tainted clothing for cannibals? Well, let me check that. I'll try moles to wear a tainted uh, pair of uh, a flak jacket. All right, Mal, it's going to be easy to please because I just murdered a whole bunch of... Uh... No, 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 don't eat him. Oh, strip him. Um, yeah, okay, you're right. There is not a penalty for the tainted. So tainted apparel is totally fine. Cool. Um, let's, I'm not entirely sure or convinced, uh, that I want to go the route of, um, marine armors because marine armors, of course, do suffer movement speed penalties, but so do flak jackets for that matter. All that really matters is that we're faster than everybody else that's trying to chase us. So Moles here has gear. Now Moles, you don't have, um, you're an obligate brawler and I'm gonna try to respect that. Oops, I should have let you wear that, okay. Yes, the schedule is to sleep. I'm going to set this to anything, given the wake up. Nope, still resting. All right, Mallet, you're going to take wake up as well. And then what I'm going to do is to build a butchery table here. In order to do that, I'm going to have to cut down some trees. So let's see. One... Two, three. Patch the rest up so that it doesn't get infected. Uh, this spider here, if you were wondering, I know that many of you were probably nervous. Uh, the spider has a very brief ETA to live. All right, so Moles is going to go harvest the pine trees, and then we are going to start stockpiling up this stuff. And let me turn off auto home zone. Um, I will be temporarily adding this to a home zone so I can caravan its stuff back home. Uh, 
everything here is going to be added. And for that, I'm going to need to maybe create some doors. Oh, cargo pods of berries. Now, the butchery is going to be, of course, for the dead humans here. Um, so I'm also going to have a dumping zone to include that. And here is the wood that we wanted. Charadar is still hunting. There's two snow hair left, and Glitch will be researching. And soon we'll be bringing home uh, the wealth that we obtained. I don't really need to clean anything, so let me reduce the clean priority. The bug has died of, well, the bleed out. And now Moles is home with the uh, the timber, the lumber. And we are going to get the butchery built. And you are sure eating a whole lot. So that went pretty well. We are in armor. Got a feral anti-material rifle, which is um, uh, sort of like a sniper rifle, but higher armor penetration. And butcher. We are going to butcher human corpses. With mallet. And bring all that human meat back with us so that we can eat it. I'm also going to uh, construct... Expand this. I'm going to construct um, doors here so that nothing, none of these items decay, so that we can keep them intact. And as revenge, a raid, Isaac and Trumpet coming to fight us. Good luck with that. I guess it's a uh, free food delivery. I do have rough living, yes. I have rough living and temperature tough. Okay, combat music informs me that they're getting close. Not worried. All right, let's take a look. Undergrounder, Quick Sleeper, and Gourmand and Kind. Neither, of course, will be recruits. Now, hopefully, we don't have to bother Father Glitch. But maybe I'll have him tap in as a lure. Now, Trumpet seems slower. Yeah, you're frail. Moles with a brick risk. Um, I'm going to have moles eat some raw meat for a second to try to offset some of the mood penalties. Isaac is going down. Sorry, Isaac. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning. All right, Glitch, you're probably done now. I don't think we're going to need much issue there. And yeah. All right, so the raw cannibalism and eight human meat will offset that mood penalty and uh, hopefully keep them happy. All right, the other two are all set. Uh, now I'm going to set up a butcher forever of human likes and animals alike. Um, yeah. Get that going. Now this is a hideous environment, but this is just a temporary sort of like a holding area for the stuff that we're eventually going to bring back. Of course, the sea ice here is very resource barren, so we're going to have to do a lot of resource raiding, not just people raiding. Alright, there we go. 
Now, between the three of these, we do have a cook, Raptor, who soon will be able to make uh, simple meals. And these simple meals I'm going to have here, we're going to make until we have seven, let's say. Um, I'm going to keep the simple meals for now because we don't have a proper kitchen or anything outside. So this will be for simple meals. And we are going to take them to simple meals. And the details of this, of course, is going to be human meat. So all of our simple meals will be satisfying our uh, ravenous or strong cannibalism. Xanth, thanks for the resub. Cheers, man. Yeah, we're very, very bad guys. All right, Moles, what are you up to? Building a snowman? Sure, as long as you don't have a mental break. I'm cool with that. All right, these two are going to be heading home uh, with all that they can carry in a minute. And, uh, and that's a pretty good haul for first ancient danger clearing. You're welcome for the uh, birthday wishes. Yeah, we built a snowman. If you notice here, it is a decapitated snowman covered in puke. So, foreshadowing? Perhaps, maybe? Uh, Moles, why did you drop your weapon? I'm not sure, but I'll remedy that soon. Uh, it is vomit. Mega scarab vomit. Yep. Good stuff. All right, so we do have some human meat here, and of course that's going to spoil until Raptor cooks it. We still have uh, snow hair to hunt. What caused them to vomit? Uh, those mega scarabs were in the crypto sleep caskets. So they vomited because they had crypto sleep sickness. Uh, in fact, we... No, they're gone. Well, hold on. Uh, animals, wild animals, enemies. No, I think they're gone. Pet tusk. This little girl? Does she deserve tusks? That's okay. <laughs> she loves it. Am I going to mine up this tile? Um, I'll probably not abandon it. I will use it for resource uh, gathering for a bit. So I'm not going to... I'm going to mine it when we need minerals, I guess is the, the answer that I'm, I'm going to give you. Alright, so come tomorrow morning, Mallet and Moles will be heading back with that human meat. And that should be enough human meat to keep us going for a bit. It'll also give us a whole bunch of resources. I'll probably have uh, Raptor and Ch Charetter go over and help to haul as well. Because, of course, we are going to very quickly have an excessive amount of stuff that we don't have space for. And eaten raw. As long as you don't get sick, that's fine. What is the Frost Shrine? The Frost Shrine is our initial colony. Nothing special about it. Just, this is the Frost Shrine. <laughs> You're looking at it. Not much of a shrine yet. Yet. So there is one more inch of danger here that we can tap into once the first one has exhausted its resources and we've hauled everything back. Um, I 
Now, some of the clothing here, I'll probably leave outside. So, I'll create a little zone called trash. Low priority of clothing that is 51 and under of normal and under apparel. Uh, that is tainted. Pat Yoda? This dude? <laughs> Alright, Charetta is starting to make human leather wear travel wear. Um, or human leather travel wear. Ooh! <laughs> Thrumbos? Already? Yeah, I can't really take them on. I think that would be a death wish. All right, so these two are going to help carry some stuff back. So let's see. Uh, we are going to take all the human leather, all the berries, and more uh, all the human meat, the components, the wake up, and the wood. And gold. Send. And let's set up a caravan pack spot. Okay, there we go. Raptor is starting to wear the human leather. And as you can see, there's a bit of a bonus. It was the plan. All right, so here we are going to say... Uh, no tainted apparel. So we carry it out. And throw it away. Hi, Thrombo. And then Raptor and Shredder ought to get going uh, over to the other map tile. So let's get them moving. Form Caravan. These two. Uh, travel supplies. Bring four simple meals. That is it. Send. Oh, actually, let's bring the... Um, the tainted clothing that I can just ditch in transit. I don't need it. It will clean up the, the map a bit. Tainted is usable by cannibals, but tattered is not. No one... Oh, are you eating my... Okay, hold on. Hang on a minute. Stupid thrombo. Thrombos are expensive to feed. There's no trees around, so this thrombo has decided to eat my food jerk <laughs> and a cold snap <laughs> it begins <laughs> cold snap time all right complex furniture is done let's get complex clothing next Oh, we'll be fine. We're tough. I just want these stupid thrombo to go away so they stop eating my food, because I don't really have a refrigerator right now, and, well, they're kind of eating my stuff. Mountain Moles. Mole still doesn't have the uh, Ikla. I never picked it up, but that's it's fine. It's not like it's going anywhere. It's probably the cheapest thing in that stockpile. All right, Treader, and oh, perfect. We entered right at where I have them leaving. All right, so we are going to bring Insect Jelly. Let's see, uh, the Tech Prince, Ikla. The clothing that is not uh, tattered. Gold. Wood. Pulsar. I could also... Well, that wouldn't really help me. Um, 
and steel. Or let's do plasteel first and then steel. Looks good. Mallet just got an inspired creativity. Cool. And a manhunter pack of cats? Okay. Okay. Aren't they going to freeze to death? All right, temperature tolerance here is negative 13 degrees. I think that's a little generous for a cat, but sure. All right, mountain moles are home. Obviously, these cats are going to try to go for them. I'm fine with that. And Charetter and Raptor are coming home too. Hey, cat. What, am I not human enough for you? <laughs> They're not even fighting me. Get over here. Stupid cats. Did I dump the tattered clothing on the way? No. No, I didn't. Or I haven't. Actually, I don't even know where it went. Oh, we must have uh, dumped it here. It's fine that it's this map tile because um, um, I'm not planning on uh, keeping this map tile forever. So I'll just forbid what I don't care about. And remove it from the stockpiles. More effortful, sure, but, you know, it'll work. Okay, there we go. Cats, you coming to Mallet? Nope. Oh, <laughs> stupid cats. Cats versus cannibals. Not much of a fight there. All right. The other thing here is this butchery zone um, is absolutely going to be eaten by those Thrumbo unless I haul it out as soon as I can because these thrumbo are hungry and they're just going to eat whatever the heck they want like the jerks that they are so I'm going to be clearing that out there okay 279 human meat uh the other thing that we're gonna that we will be doing is um trying to build and expand. Uh, this is, of course, very, very expensive. I don't have the bone mod on to make it easier that we used in the original Wendigos. Uh, so any sort of expansion that we do uh, is paid for expensively uh, through material obtained through raiding and killing and, and the like. All right, these guys are not moving much. You said you ran out of food, but I'm pretty sure I'm staring at insect jelly. Just saying. All right, luckily these two did not get infected. And the cold snap plus the fire is keeping this uh, room temperate. Very, very temperate. So there's no cold snap over here. And if we needed to, there's obviously tons and tons of stuff to hunt. Ibex, caribou, etc. We prefer human, uh, but we are allowed to eat non-human. It just comes with a bit of a penalty, as you can see. All right, Glitch. We are going to give you the prime Wendigo roll. 
So he is now our leader. As one probably assumed what would happen. All right, the other two are healing up. And waiting for Raptor and Shredder to come home. I'll probably have all four of them go over and caravan what is out there back. And Raptor currently is starving. Why? Just eat the jelly. You're holding jelly. Uh, one of the things I could take a look. Nope, it's allowed. Just being dumb. Cool, that's what I thought. All right, Mallet's full healed. Uh, my cook would be Raptor. So once Raptor gets in... Oh, Tourette just got food poisoning from raw meat. Tourette is also going to start to make us uh, human leather tribal wear. And then Moles and Mallet shouldn't construct. It should be Raptor. All right, two tech prints applied already. That was quick. And now uh, the food is going to be simple for everybody. I'm actually going to straight up delete the other ones. And then uh, the there will be an anything here of non-raw, uh, hay, kibble, raw resource, plant, or corpses, or manufactured drugs. Um, so not really anything. But uh, that way, you know, if we have to, we can expand what we eat. All right, Glitch, let's get you into finer clothing. Forget the cloth. Raptor, you should be done. Oh, uh, this, yeah, you're done. Oh, man, this task never ends. Yeah, excellent clothing already. Okay, fox meat I don't really care about. What I'm trying to do is set up a uh, refrigerator here. So that it's going to be a little bit easier to keep the uh, the food frozen. So I'll add a vent. And then I hope to research... Um, I mean, we're on ice sheet, so it should be pretty easy to keep things cold. But uh, I want to research uh, air conditioning and electricity and all that pretty much as soon as it can. Okay, there we go. Definitely make sure that door closes. All right, the other issue that we have is uh, not everyone is uh, temperature tolerant enough to go back to the original spot. I would have to um, gear them up for it. So, Tourette, I'm going to have you... Let's see, the Hyperweave Pants are probably going to be the widest temperature range. And then you're going to need some sort of shirt eventually. Yeah, you're not... Oh, let's put that back on. Tribal wear is even better. Right, so, stockpile over here is going to be... I'm just going to call it Kitchen, where all foods are stored for now. And then no foods in the general stock pile. I'm not going to worry about an air airlock. Um, because, again, we can sleep in the cold and, and not be really much bothered. This is just the, the very basic setup. Are we missing a... Yeah, we're missing a roof. Heavens knows why. Raptor just stopped. All right, so these berries and meals won't decay. And then I'm going to start to cook uh, fine meals once I have a... Hmm. The question is, do I go to fueled stove or do I stick with simple meals until I have the means to get something better? So Mallet and Moles, you guys are both all set. Moles, put the equal back on. 
Um, take off the flak vest. You're not going to need it. It will slow you down necessarily. And those two are going to head back here because they're the only ones that can bear the temperature at the moment. And we'll send them off. Sonder! Or Sandre, thanks for the uh, the resub. And welcome. Yeah, probably simple until electric stove. I agree. I don't want to waste material. Steel is um, a rarer resource. So I'm trying to limit how much we waste. Thank you for watching Wendigos, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join Discord for announcements, Rodamont.com also has the link to that as well. This episode was recorded August 10th under the 1.3.3080 branch of RimWorld ideology. The mod list is in the description, as well as the rules and goals. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.